Now if you clicked on this video, you must have seen the thumbnail. Spoiler alert, everyone knows this right here is broken. The problem is, when I put the character we are about to talk about in the thumbnail, the video does badly. It is what it is. But who is actually broken? This guy. This fucking guy right here. This absolute abomination of a character. Now you're probably thinking, Oh Gov is only making this video because AK is doing well with the character. No. I had the sneaking suspicion that Shaheen was broken for months now. I literally have a video on it. The issue is, I only see one Shaheen a year, so I can never really confirm these suspicions. Anyways, I am going to explain to you exactly how obnoxious this character is. But first, like, subscribe, comment. Comment how much drip you think Shaheen needs for him to be played by anyone other than AK. Let's get into it. Shaheen is one of these new gen Tekken 8 characters that are easy to play and have a very simple game plan. So he can do everything. He has every tool. Plug and play character. So naturally, his generics are going to be good right? Off rip. Nonsensical. Down forward 1. Plus 5 on hit and only minus 1 on block. Fantastic mid check, great poke. It doesn't have any follow ups or anything, but it doesn't need that. Now combine this with down three, which is a low poke that high crushes, is neutral on hit and has staunch transitions. You're already creating problems for your opponent with just two very simple yet effective pokes. He also has forward four. This move is ridiculous. The running theme you're going to see with Shaheen is simple yet effective. Forward four is a 15 frame homing high that knocks down for a back 4 follow up. 39 damage for stepping. We play 2D Tekken round here, uh, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention this, for some godforsaken reason, this also does chip damage on block. Oh, and it's only minus 2. So there are your high, mid and low books. 3 moves, 80% of the time, just click one of these. There's practically no risk to them and just have solid reward for, for like no reason really. Anyways, back to broken generics, down forward 2, obviously a launcher, has some high crushing in his minus 7, so you have a safe mid launcher from neutral. And like, minus 7 is a minus 9, so it's not like you've completely given up your turn, and Shaheen definitely has some bunga to work with this. Down forward 3, good range homing mid, plus 9 on hit, down 4, 19 frame low, plus 1 on hit. Back 1, neutral on block, mid heat engager. Is 19 frames, but bruh. Back 3, 19 frames, plus 3 on block. Did I also mention, back 3 plus 4 is a safe high power crush heat engager. Yeah, Shaheen has one of those. While running 2, 17 frames, plus 5 on block. Shaheen's standing pokes is just simply cracked. When I look at the properties of some of these moves, I'm really just like, what on earth are you doing, Harada? And this isn't even the best part of Shaheen's game. Bro has better pokes than like 80% of the game, and it's not even his best strength. Something else that definitely isn't his biggest strength, that he can just do for some reason, is counter hits. While standing one, I'ma be real. I don't know the follow up for this, I'm not Shaheen main, but I know it's good. 14 frames, and his 4 strings are all good. Like oh yeah, back 2 removes grey health, so he's Kuma as well. Shaheen has amazing whiff punishment to complement his already stupid neutral game. Forward forward 3, launcher, minus 12 on block, so be kind of careful, but still great. You know, you don't even need anything else. But Shaheen's full crouch game is where Shaheen really excels, right? It's probably the best in the game. He has a slide that has a follow up. Good. Already annoying as fuck, yet he can mix this up with a while standing 2 launcher. It is minus 17, but this isn't your only option. We got the safe full crouch 2 knockdown mid. 
In fact, Slide isn't even the only low option that we've got from Full Crouch. You've got Full Crouch 4 for a slightly safer option that's also a stance transition. I can't think off the top of my head who has a Full Crouch game quite like this, it's actually ridiculous. The broken things this character can do are just stacking up one by one by one. Shaheen has stances by the way guys. What's this shit called again? Stealth Step, yeah. Stealth Step 1, 12 frame high, plus 5 on hit, minus 2 on block, on counter hit gives a follow up. Stealth Step 2, plus 8 mid, minus 9 knockdown on counter hit. Stealth Step 3, is forward forward 3 from stance. Stealth Step 4, 20 frame low, plus 3 on hit, knockdown on counter hit. Stealth Step 1 plus 2, plus 2 on block, heat engaging mid. So you don't really want to click into this stance because every move has a counter hit property but at the same time you don't want to hold the mix because Shaheen gets advantage of that as well. This character is cracked and I still haven't even got into the dumbest thing about this character yet. I'm not even going to talk about this character's punishment. His 10 frame goes straight into stealth step so now you have some idea of where that's headed. What I want to now talk about is Shaheen's heat. And this is what, for some reason, nobody is talking about. I do not know how people have overlooked this for so long. During Heat, Shaheen gains access to a new move called Al Ghul Master. This is a guard break from Full Crouch. So I explained how Shaheen has an absurd Full Crouch game, right? Well, in Heat, he adds a guard break to that. A guard break that does chip damage. Now it is a high, meaning it's not guaranteed damage. But it is if you don't want to get launched or knocked down into the exact same position. His heat is extremely ridiculous, all because of this one singular move. It's borderline oppressive. I cannot explain hard enough just how cracked this makes him. But anyways, as you can see now, Shaheen is fucking broken. And he's constantly ignored because nobody plays him. Which is kind of weird because this is like an easy to play character that's also broken. And in like every other instance characters like that are always played into the ground. But I guess that's what no drip will do to a guy. Imagine that Arab representation has no drip. Insane. But until next time.